Hello, uh, welcome to my latest video. This week I'll be painting Richmond Park in oils and I've put some basic lines here to uh, lay the painting out. Here's the reference photo. Now my plan is to go to Richmond Park every month and take a load of reference photographs with the aim of painting every season, every month to really show the changes. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the big pile of paintings I'll end up with. But uh, first I've got to actually do it and stay the course. We shall see. Now the, um, the first thing to do after this sketch is the blocking in. And uh, that's basically painting a very crude version of it. Very simply, just mid-tones. And that's to get rid of all the white, which is a distraction. So I better get on with it. I have the basic blocking finished and I must say it's nice to get rid of that white. Here I've used oils to do the blocking but it's perfectly acceptable to use acrylics if you want a bit of speed and drying. Although I am using fast drying oils so it hasn't taken that long, maybe about 3-4 hours. There is a second advantage to doing the blocking and that's the oil paint seem to flow better over paint that's already there whether it's acrylics or oils, than the gesso background. Not too sure why that is, but it just seems to be true. I'm now going to start again with the sky and redo that, and I won't care too much about going over what I've already got here. Some of it will show through to show me where everything is. And then I will slowly move forward in the painting, always starting with the background, which in this case, the background isn't that far away but I will still use some aerial perspective. So colors will be a little bit more subdued, so a little bit grayer and lighter. You can't see that in the reference photo particularly because that's a nature of photography, but it's always a good idea to add it. So um, let's get on and see if it all works.
Right, the uh, painting's coming on nicely. I've got the mid-ground pretty much done. And uh, the next task is this uh, path and all the grass areas. And then once that's done, this large mass over here, which is uh, going to be quite a challenge, but uh, looking forward to doing it. I'm getting close to finishing. I've um, done this uh, tricky corner and I think it, it turned out okay. I'm quite happy with it. And the only thing left is the rather large tree on the left. Now that should be, famous last words, relatively straightforward. I will do it in two passes. One is to just do it with a not taking any notice of the, the details, just getting the basic forms and then I'll let that dry and I will then go over it with a fine brush and put in all the little bark details to finish off. And then it's just a look around the whole painting, see if there's any little areas that need adjusting and it'll be done. Well, I'll better get on with it then.
and I'm calling it finished. Here we are. I'm actually fairly pleased with it, which isn't the case for most of my paintings. I'm never happy, but never mind. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you managed to watch the whole thing and didn't skip to the end, well done. I'm impressed. If you haven't already, if you could like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. I'd be very grateful and hope to see you on the next video. Bye.